How's the ankle? Um, I mean, um, it's a sprain, but it is what it is. Um, nothing I can do about that. Um, Take me out the air and um, kind of twist my ankle when I came down. So I'm um, get a lot of treatment and see how I feel tomorrow. What do you think of the foul from around? I think I'm the only person in the league that's not getting a flavor for that call, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, for sure I'm the only player, but it is what it is. I don't know, man. Like, go back and look at the history. Like, it's there. How's your left ankle been in the past? Have you had trouble with the ankle? No, um, I haven't had any um, problems with my ankle in a long time. And um, I don't even wear braces anymore. Yeah. They'll let you know. So um, I haven't had any problems with it. Now, I just got to make sure that um, um, I get treatment. And if anything, I don't want to lose the condition that, that, I, that I built up and that I have right now. I'm in great shape right now, so I'll be back. You took a couple bumps, but this was the one we got you on the neck? Yes, yes, bro. And that's a common foul. Wow. Like, come on. Bro. The depth of this team is shown in two games. Are we kind of scratching the surface here, you think? Um, I think so. Like I said in the beginning, it's going to be a process. We all learn each other's game. We try to make the game simple for one another. And usually when you like, it's my first time playing on a team like this in the beginning, like I said. So usually when you got talent like this, it, it takes time to, um, to, to form into what you want to become. So your guy is working on plays with, with Coach Lou. What was that all about? Well, uh, the what? I saw so you guys working with plays with Coach Lou. Like going Coach back Lou? to plays, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, going over plays, um, trying to get sharp and uh, be more um, efficient while we're out there. All right, everyone. We're doing a huge giveaway on this channel. We're giving away iTunes gift cards and Amazon gift cards. And all you got to do to win the giveaway is to make sure you drop a like by hitting the thumbs up button. Subscribe to our channel for the latest news and then hit the bell button to turn on notifications And then after that just drop a comment tell me what gift card you want to win and we select winners every single day And of course if you comment first you're more likely to win Two dot plays and like it's all about timing and rhythm and making sure everybody's in the right spot at the right time You see what you can bring to that table at the front by position and... I mean um, Yeah, just being able to like I said to facilitate hit the paint and just play my game. Um, me playing my game, I, I think, like I said, I think it opens up the floor and um, the team has to help them. How's that ankle? I mean, it feels good. I was able to move around a little bit. Tonight, get a little bit more treatment. And I think I should be able to go tomorrow. You take more pleasure this year and playing with those guys and then you feel that you're more being like, more you more like yourself? Um, of course, that's one of the reasons why I came here. Um, it's all about just having fun and being happy while I'm playing the game. And with this group, um, it's a great group of guys. I have a hell of a supporting cast. And um, I'm back on that stage again, like I said. So this is what I've been waiting on for a long time. As a, as a point guard, how interesting or, or, or learning to, to, to watch LeBron play the same position as you from guard from the bench? And how was it? What did you see? Um, I mean, he's a point guard every night. That's what I was trying to get to tell people. Like, he averaged probably more assists than I do on an every night basis. Um, it wasn't no, not the norm for me. Um, I'm used to playing against him in the playoffs where he has the ball in his hand a lot, and um, he's the one creating. So I wasn't that surprised. Mark, I know you were really pleased with your conditioning before your ankle injury. What have you done to um, made sure I was moving right when my ankle healed. I mean, right when it was feeling better, I was able to move around. I think tomorrow uh, you'll be able to tell that I didn't lose it. I feel good moving around. I'm not huffing and puffing. Um, I'm just proud of myself that I kept up my conditioning. I think it started with how I trained this summer. Um, I, I think I bust my ass the entire summer and it's um, paying off. As a point guard, how difficult of a process is it to understand the tendency of your teammate, what they like to do? How, how long does it take? What, um, to learn everybody's tennis? Yeah. Uh, I mean, if it was a timetable, we'll be, I'd be able to give you an answer. But um, it's basketball. It's going to be a process. We all learn each other. 
Uh, Coach Lou, he's trying to figure out the lineup. So when you got the coach trying to figure things out, the players, they're, they're on the same page. We're trying to figure everything out, seeing who, who um, what guys like, who like driving left or right, where guys want the ball on the floor. It's all about just learning each other along this way. It's still early, only, what, four or five games, so it's still early. So the Cavs are undefeated when you play, so you just have to come oh, back. Man, no, no, <laughs> man, no, man, no, man, don't start that, man. Don't do that. Um, man, um, it's all about just playing good basketball. Um, I'm, like I said, if I wasn't playing, though, whenever IT get back and I get moved to the bench, I really don't care. I could be the equipment guy. As long as I'm a part of this team, it really don't matter to me. All right, guys, so I don't know if you've seen the initial interview, man. I'm assuming you did if you made it this far into the video, but dude Derek Rose was saying you know people don't want to call flagrants on him people are tripping him not getting in trouble the dude's always getting injured I mean I actually thought during that interview for a split second you know I don't want to say it looked like he wanted to cry but it kind of did and I feel bad for this dude because like why is he always getting injured it's not his fault I mean a little bit of it is but like at the same time he can't you know help that his body's you know tearing ACLs and spraining ankles and everything else he's got knee problems and all kinds of issues so anyways dude it's not Derrick Rose's fault you know some of it's his body some of it's other people in the NBA but I do agree with him dude he's a great player and I do hate to see him go but that's what looks like is gonna happen guys so anyways I don't know if you guys heard the rumor but supposedly Derrick Rose is considering retiring from the NBA so you know he's gonna be done with the NBA so he's just gonna retire and he's gonna leave the Cavaliers supposedly now I do want to say this is not 100% confirmed yet, there is still a chance that maybe he will change his mind, but usually guys, once you plant that seed of doubt, you know, in someone's head where they think, hey, you know, there's no chance for me to get better, there's no chance I'm going to heal, there's no chance that, you know, I'm going to become a millionaire or whatever it is, usually they never do, because once that seed of doubt is planted in someone's mind, it grows, and they end up making a decision not to do something. Now, Derrick Rose is, you know, not a normal person. I mean, these are basketball players that have different kind of lifestyles and different lives. But at the same time, guys, I do think pretty soon, whether it's this game, next game, in a week or so, I think he might announce he's going to retire. And I just think he's going to do that because I think he realizes he's always going to get injured. He's never going to get to see his full potential. And it's sad because he's such a great player. I like the way he gives interviews. I like the way he talks. And, you know, honestly, out of all the players in basketball, he's really fun to watch. However, as you guys know, dude, some people are just not so lucky when it comes to injuries. And, you know, they get injured. I mean, just a couple days ago, someone was playing backyard football over here, and the dude tore his ACL. I mean, <laughs> if that's going to happen, you know, some people get really bad injuries for really stupid things. And I think Derrick Rose just happens to be one of those injury-prone people. So I wish him the best of luck, dude. I'm hoping he changes his mind, decides he wants to play for the Cavs, and he heals up because we need Derrick Rose to win. Let's be honest. Wade's pretty good. Kevin Love has been playing good, but we all know he ain't going to play good when the playoffs come. LeBron's been playing amazing, and then Isaiah Thomas is going to come back. Well, Derrick Rose was like that one dude that we really needed to, you know, step up, put in work for the team, and make this Cavaliers team great, but he ain't going to be able to do that if he ain't playing on the team. The dude's watching the Cavs from the couch. He obviously is not going to be able to make this team great, so I feel bad for him, dude. I wish him the best of luck. I hope things get better, but, you know, sometimes... That is what it is, dude. Sometimes things just don't work out. So anyways, guys, if you could, man, comment down below, you know, wishing Derrick Rose the best of luck, hoping he heals. And I hope he, you know, decides he wants to play for the NBA, play for the Cavaliers, and at least stick this year out. And if he wants to retire after this year, go ahead and do so. But anyways, guys, you know, that's all I got for this video, man. Hope you guys enjoyed. And other than that, I'm out. Stay fresh. I'm out. Peace. In today's video, we're going to break down who has the most beef with Lonzo Ball. Now the list is huge, so we're only going to cover a few today. At number one, we have Wale. Number two, Michael Jordan. Number three, pretty much the entire Warriors team. Number four, Patrick Beverly. And at number five, we have the Los Angeles Clippers, the whole organization. But before we get into that today, we have a special giveaway. We have a $100 finish line. $100 Foot Locker card. And to enter, all you gotta do is count how many times I say the word beef in today's video. Alright everyone, we're doing a huge giveaway on this channel. 
We're giving away iTunes gift cards and Amazon gift cards. And all you got to do to win the giveaway is to make sure you drop a like by hitting the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel for the latest news, and then hit the bell button to turn on notifications. And then after that, just drop a comment telling me what gift card you want to win. And we select winners every single day. And of course, if you comment first, you're more likely to win. All right, guys. So I hope you guys got to catch the game last night, you know, with uh, the debut of Lonzo Ball. And Patrick Beverly and him got really physical. There was a lot. Everyone, everyone has beat.